Hello everybody, welcome back to the Shaky Painter. Today we are painting the Necromantic Horror Blood Bowl team, the Wolfenberg Crypt Stealers. And we're going to start with the race. Uh, now as you can see, we've had a bit of an update to the channel. We've got a new logo. We're actually putting the paints up that we use. Uh, just to bring it up to date a little bit now that we're getting used to it. So we're going to start off with some Night Haunt Gloom. Uh, I've primed the models in Wraith Bone just to bring out that colour nicely. Uh, we're going to start with some night, night Haunt Gloom, like I say. We're going to get that all over. The good thing about the Night Haunt Gloom is it really does sit in those recesses really well. This is the contrast, not the technical version. Um, and it really does settle nicely into those recesses, uh, giving you that great contrast that we know and love from these new contrast paints. Now we're going to get the Artist Opus, Opus Texture Board out. Now I prefer to use this for dry brushing than I do for a bit of cloth, dry, uh, getting that paint off. And all we do on here is we put the paint directly onto the texture palette, dip our brush in, give it a good squidge around to get that paint worked in nice and deep into those bristles. So that's a small dry brush from the Army Painter. And then all you do is you wipe it off, circular motions on that texture board, and you can see just across the edges how much you're leaving on and how much uh, it's going to be on the brush when you want to go and dry brush uh, so we're just going to give that a dry brush all over of ortho and grey uh, and that's going to bring out those edges nicely I tried not to go too light but at the same time not too heavy I didn't want it to be overly powerful just enough to make that contrast between the two colours of that night haunt gloom and the ortho and grey Now this is the only highlight I'm doing. I'm not putting any more highlights on the Wraith cloth because I think the high, I think the uh, dry brushing did very well at just bringing out all those edges. I don't think it needed a finer head uh, highlight on it. I think it just looked great as it is. Very spooky, very creepy. Now for some reason my camera blipped out here um, and just started recording. I have no idea why. But we're going to move into uh, some Gore Grunter fur. And now this is just for the ropes. Uh, Gore Grunter fur, lovely colour to work with. Gives a really rich brown colour. And we're going to go all over with those ropes. Now I didn't go too heavy on this. But just enough so it sits in those recesses nicely. And it gives you a great bit of contrast against that spoopy cloth that we've got going on there. So just work your way around all those ropes, taking your time. It does interweave into some other parts of the model. So just be careful when you get down there. It's not the end of the world if you do overspill onto those other areas because you can just tidy up with some wraith bone. We're still in the early stages. And now as you can see, the famous band is not there. Um, I find with these contrast paints, layering them down as a base paint, I don't really need to wear the band they flow so nicely that actually the tiniest little touch of the brush to the model if you have the right amount of paint on there just works perfectly um, you can see the end of the brush is shaking so I am shaking quite a lot but as you can see it's not affecting where that paint's going So just work your way around all of those ropes on the model. Get that nice coverage. And 
Okay, next up, a little bit of Iron Warriors, just for that top. Uh, it looks like a blade to me. Um, not sure what it is, but we'll just pop in a, a bit of Iron Warriors on there. Now, I decided after using the Iron Warriors, I wasn't going to shade it. Um, I did highlight it just a little bit to bring it up uh, and make it stand out a little bit, but I didn't shade it down. I didn't feel the need to. It was just right as it was. Okay, moving on to some wild wood. It's the wild wood just there for the, uh, I don't know what you call it, post, I suppose. Um, just get a good coverage of that over. Wild wood, beautiful, brings out those uh, sharp edges really, really nicely. It's a great paint to work with. We do do a highlight on that a bit later on, just to bring those edges popping a little bit. Um, but I really like that wildwood paint. I love the way it settles, the way it works. Has to be said, wasn't 100% sold on contrast paints, but uh, I watched the main man himself, Mr. War Hipster, been getting lots of tips from his videos. So big shout out to Josh. Uh, keep up the great work, mate. Uh, and with your videos, I've learned to use contrast paint, I think, to quite a good standard. Nowhere near your standard, but still quite good. So, yeah, massive thank you to uh, to the War Hipster and his videos. Okay, so next we're going with some Agaros jeans, and that's just for the, uh, the, I suppose you'd call it straw grass, who knows, uh, it gives a lovely yellow tinge, almost like burnt out grass, uh, it sits nicely in those recesses again, so we're going to use the Agaros jeans just to do all the grassy areas. So next, some Black Legion, we're going to start just base coating those socks. Uh, the socks themselves have a couple of little patches on them which are going to be orange, but I thought Black Legion instead of Black Templar, I wanted just to have them like a nice solid black colour. I'm going to pop in there and highlight them up a little bit um, with some grey, but I just like the way the black stood out against those, I suppose you'd say brighter colours that we've got. They do have pegs on the top. Um, the pegs I decided to do in, um, in silver, but we'll see those shortly. Um, but yeah, base coat all of your socks with um, any kind of black, I suppose. And like I say, I went with Black Legion. I do like the way Black Legion gives you that definite black. Now, for some reason, my computer decided it didn't want to play. Um, and it did miss. On the, We've got a little hand there. Um, then we're just going to put some skeleton hoard on it and the skeleton hoard itself um, you can see the band is back um, just put some skeleton hoard over that skeleton hand um, and we'll highlight it up so now we're going with some scrag brown just to highlight those ropes now with the ropes I didn't do every single one I just wanted kind of a little bit here and there um, trying to work out where the light's catching the most um, and then across the back, I just kind of gently run the brush across the back on the large rope um, just to get that nice little edge, as you can see there, just running there. 
uh, because I figured the light coming in from that side would work really well. Okay, so this time I totally forgot to put the band on, uh, maybe, uh, while I was doing my highlighting. And as you can see, bracing my hands there with that new, that new, uh, that, the new handle that I've got there. And we're just using a little bit of Pallid Witch Flesh just over that skeleton hand, just to bring it out a little bit. Um, just over the knuckles, across the top of the fingers, etc. Um, and that just makes it jump out a little bit against the Agaros jeans. Now the Agaros jeans and Skeleton Hold look quite similar with the amount that I've put on. Um, so with the Agaros jeans, we're going to highlight that up using Screaming Skull. And as you can see, I'm having issues with the wire there. It's quite a new setup, so still learning, but I just wanted to get a video out for you guys um, showing the project that I'm working on at the minute and the project that hopefully you guys will enjoy and follow. So like everything in painting, it doesn't have to be perfect, just to your level. I'm really happy with the way that these turned out. Um, really kind of a, a big project, a big, big step for me with the highlighting and, and the new camera setup and everything. Still learning, still learning all the, all the ins and outs and the do's and don'ts. Um, and how to get it edited, obviously. Um, but hopefully it's an improvement from here on out. Okay, so now with some Gorthor Brown, we're just going to highlight that wildwood up. Um, really like the way this popped. Um, just across the edges, and there is there are some textured bits inside those posts. So I just did those as well. Just with a bit of iron hand still there, just highlighting those two sharpest edges and then giving the top a little, little highlight as well. Um, not too much, I didn't think it needed too much, um, but it was just enough to make that silver stand out. And we're just going to go over some of that onto the pegs themselves that are holding the socks as well. Right, now using a bit of Administratum Grey just highlighting the socks up there and now whether it caught it and we see it a bit later on or not I, I don't remember uh, Grift Hound Orange just on the patches on the socks um, lovely little contrast against that black um, and it's just the tiniest bit of administratum grey just to, just to bring those socks out a little bit okay. and some Fire Dragon Bright just over the orange of the socks
Oh, okay. Now, like I say, there we go. Um, it has con it has picked up the orange. Uh, you can see my little headset there. Um, just a magnifying set. Didn't realise it had got into the shot. I sit with my back to the screen, so I couldn't see it. Uh, it's just Gif Griff Hound Orange going across there. Um, once we've got that on, obviously we go back to the highlighting. Uh, for some strange reason, the, the the video has edited it all in the wrong order, but that's not a problem. Um, all the steps are there. And like I say, still learning. Um, and that's what it's all about. Learning, learning, learning. Uh, one step at a time. We've got a new logo. We've got new starter screens. Uh, next step is to learn to edit the videos properly which uh, should be fun. And a little bit of iron hand still, just on those pegs. But we've already seen, we've already highlighted those. And now we're going back in with that screaming skull again on the Agaros jeans. The reason I went back again was it didn't really kind of pop enough, so I let it dry. I just did another little bit over the top, and the second time round with two little coats, it just popped really, really nicely. I was really happy with the way it worked out. And there you have it, the Necromantic Horror Blood Bowl team, the Wolfberg Crip Stealers Raids. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I say, uh, more coming. Uh, 